Hi and welcome back. In this section we will take a look at Axios and how to work with it. So there are a couple of things we will learn in this section. First we will learn how to use Axios to make a basic GET request. Next we will learn how to make reactive calls from our application. After this we will learn how to make form calls from our application, followed by learning how to process errors. Last but not least we will also learn how to use the mounted method. So we start by learning how to make basic AJAX calls. So what will we cover in this video? First, we will learn how to install and configure Axios. Next, we will learn how to fire a GET request using Axios. And last but not least, we will also learn how to process a response. So I've created a simple application with a card. Nothing to see here basically. The important part is happening behind the scenes. Let's open a console. And you will find that we are performing a request and logging the result to the console. Now open the project in your editor of choice and open the main.js file. So not the app.view file this time, but the main.js file instead. Alright, so you see that we are importing Axios at the top of our file. Next, we are configuring Axios by setting the base URL to jsonplaceholder.typecode.com. And we are using this API to demonstrate how to perform AJAX requests. After this, we are performing the request, specifically a GET request. The GET request will be sent to the base URL followed with slash post slash one. So Axios uses promises. When a promise has been finished, the then method will be called. So as you can see, the second method that's called on the Axios instance. We feed this method a closure with a response parameter. Then we simply log the response. When there is an error, and another thing about a promise is that when there's an error, so if something goes wrong, we will simply fire the catch method and we also pass it an anonymous function. And this time we we'll simply log the error to the console. And that's basically it. And this will illustrate how to use Axios. So now that we've learned how to perform a basic get request using Axios, 